looks like they're picking soybeans out there because when they pick soybeans, they get really dusty because they pick it low to the ground. Corn, not too much. David cutting right across in front of me here. About 200 feet above the ground. People always ask me, I think that's one of the most common questions, how high can you go or how high do you go? And uh, most of you know that I don't go very high. I probably stay lower than I should. But I have a lot of open space, so. Picking corn. He's watching them rolls. He got time to be waving, he says. I gotta watch his corn. Oh gun city boys and their toys flying around my field. A lot of these large equipment people can't afford large equipment, so they either co opt the machines or they hire somebody in to come cut it. And the guy that comes in and cuts it all he has is normally the machines. He may not have any corn or soybeans, but he's got machines. And that's where he makes his money. Now, where I live, I've got uh, about 65 acres of soybeans this year, and I lease it out. So I don't have any equipment or anything or any use for soybeans or corn. So I have someone come out and lease the land and pick the crops. And it's helpful to pay the taxes, the land taxes. That uh, says I'm uh, 35 feet off the ground, but seems like I'm a little higher than that. And all these kids, they get out here and they ride with their dads out here in these this equipment, they really enjoy it. Been flying for about thirty minutes. gain some altitude, head on over these trees and down the road a bit. So I'd hate to land on this corn, but there's some uh, corn that's already been cut to the left and right of me, in front of me, so I'm okay with that. And it uh, looks like it's pretty short, so you don't get a corn stuck up into your fan. Normally, when you fly over this corn, you uh, can chase up some deer that are just laying down in there. I haven't really seen uh, any deer yet today, so a little surprising. Got the corn maze over here, starting to look a little brown. But it is amazing.
sunflowers, a whole bunch of sunflowers. This is one of the nicest KOAs around. This guy has really made a nice KOA. There's plenty for kids. It's just a super nice KOA. Coshocton, Ohio. For you guys that uh, get near Coshocton, Ohio, and uh, you like uh, KOAs, you can bring your trailer in here. They've got some uh, trailers you can rent. They've got some little ca uh, cabins, uh, swimming pool. Always got activities. Always have activities for the kids. Always something going on. The guy that uh, owns it, he flies. Uh, I think he flies. Uh, it's either experimental or uh, like a cub or something. I'm not sure, but uh, he loves us flying over by there. Combine just looks like it's smoking. Stirring up dust. About uh, 61 feet off the ground. 25 miles an hour. Start heading back towards the LZ. It's about uh, coming up on five o'clock. 